This is a song about uh, a woman called Amal Basri, who was an Iranian woman who came out to Australia very indirectly. She was on a boat which was called, well, which became known as the Civ X. Some of you may remember the Civ X around the time that Wayne was talking about um, uh, when, when he was introducing this in, in 2001. Um, the CIVEX, CIVEX actually is a naval acronym which stands for Suspected Illegal Entry Vessel Unknown. The X is for unknown. And uh, it was about 20 metres long, which is as long as a cricket pitch, um, probably twice as long as this hall is wide. There were 400 people on that boat. It was obviously not seaworthy and it did sink quite quickly after it left uh, the Indonesian coast. And of the 400 odd people on board, all but 53 were drowned. And about 40 something of those were men, 162 I think it was were women, and 168 were children. And these are people who were coming to Australia to escape tyranny and, and make a better life for themselves. And Amal Basri and her son, remarkably, Amjet, managed to survive, be picked up by Indonesian fishermen, and eventually, uh, were accepted by Australia. Australia only accepted seven of those 53 survivors. Uh, when she got to Melbourne, which actually reminded her a lot of Baghdad with the, you know those palm trees by Flinders Street Station on the Yarra there? Uh, it, it, it brought to mind the Tigris River for her. And she spent all her time uh, talking to people about the plight of refugees and why people want to come to Australia and that we don't really need to be particularly scared of refugees, as we do seem to be as a nation. So um, that was her, her mission in life. So this is her story. And Amal, by the way, her name means hope. She said they looked like floating birds, those children on the water. She said that they were sleeping, but she knew they'd never wake. In this cold, dark ocean in the night, so far away from land, bobbing up and down on the way. Life was good once long ago in the city of Baghdad. She'd stroll beside the Tigris in the evenings with her father. Palm trees swaying in the sunset, blossom on the river. And the songs of Umkoto floating on the breeze. She said, Come with me on this journey. She said, Walk with me a while, you'll understand. I may cry, and my heart may fill with yearning. I know at last I've reached my promised land. Evil came, Saddam Hussein brought terror, fear, and war. I'm our lost two brothers and a husband thrown in jail. The night police came to her house and knocked upon her door. She knew that they must flee their precious home. So they silently slipped out of town and struggled through the mountains. By dark of night they crossed the frontier, then on to Tehran. Living day to day, they make their way somehow to Sumatra, running out of money, open plans. She said, come with me on this journey. She said, walk with me a while, you'll understand. I may cry, my heart may fill with yearning, but I know at last I've reached my promised land. The boat was small, the boat was old, it never hold 400 people. But the smugglers insisted, if you're to go, you must go now. The storm came hard, the storm came fast, all were at its mercy. The engine
engine failed, the boat went down, screaming a wreck the air. To see a mother and her newborn sleeping on the water is to see the hand that fate has dealt to those who had no chance. She said, Come with me on this journey. She said, Walk with me a while, you'll understand. I may cry, and my heart may fill with yearning. I know at last I've reached my promised land. I may cry, and my heart may fill with yearning, but I know at last I've reached my promised land. She said they looked like floating birds. 